Okay, so uh, for this video, we are still under a module 6 financial statement analysis. So this time, we will be discussing about the leverage ratios. Okay, so uh, for the leverage, ra leverage ratios, so the information or the data that you can take from this analysis is um, the extent of a firm's financing. So normally, uh, financing comes from uh, the uh, owners in the form of their um, contribution or we can also finance the activities of the entity from uh, borrowing okay, from the creditors. So these are the two main sources of financing, equity and liability. Okay, But normally, in terms of liability, uh, we just focus on the uh, long-term liabilities, okay? So here, uh, for the first uh, ratio under leverage ratios, we have the debt ratio, okay? So debt ratio, this measures the liabilities as a percentage of total assets. So if you could still remember uh, our basic accounting equation is equal to asset okay is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity or equity so meaning to say we can uh, purchase or procure your assets either from the contribution coming from the owners or from the liabilities or credit from the creditors okay so these are the two main sources of your assets um this debt ratio will determine how many percent does uh, our asset is being financed by liabilities. Okay, so here the formula to determine the debt ratio is equal to so we will take total liabilities, meaning to say this now comprise of uh, current and non current liabilities. Okay, and we will divide it by the total assets. So your total assets is also current and non-current. Okay, so for example, if uh, your total liabilities is 50, whereas our total assets okay, is equal to 100, so here your debt ratio will be 0.5. Correct? Or 50. Okay, or this is also... Uh, by the way, that, that ratio is a percentage. Correct? So, that's why we will multiply it by 100. So, this means that your debt ratio is 50%. So, meaning to say, uh, your total assets is being financed by liabilities for up to 50%. Okay, so that's what debt ratio means. Or, in other words, half of your liabilities are from the uh, credits or creditors. Okay, being financed by the creditors. Okay, that, that's how we interpret the debt ratio. Okay, so the next uh, ratio under the leverage ratio is your equity ratio. So this is the measurement of the percentage of the total assets being financed by the owner's investments. Okay, so uh, out of the total uh, assets, how many percent does the owners contribute okay, to finance those? So, for example, if your equity is equal to 70 and your total assets is... 100 so meaning to say that's 0.70 so we will multiply it by 100 to get the percentage so that's 70 percent sorry 70 percent okay so meaning to say 70 percent of your assets comes from the investment of your owners so if you will compare the debt ratio with that of the equity ratio so the, the goal here is that 
the equity ratio should be greater than that of the debt ratio. So, why is that so? Because if the debt ratio is greater than the equity ratio, it means that your company is only um, continuing to operate because of your credit creditors. Okay, so that is not a good indication. So here, it should be that the owner should have a greater uh, claim over the total assets that, than that of the creditors. Okay, so this is um, how leverage ratios are being used okay, to determine if how many percent does um, assets is being financed by the owners or the creditors. Okay, and the last ratio under the leverage ratios is your debt to equity ratio. Okay, so this ratio will measure the financing provided by the creditors against those provided by the owner. So this is just the percentage. Okay, the same with that also in the first two ratios that we have discussed. Okay, so liabilities versus equity. Okay. So the, the formula here is debt. Uh, for the formula I mean for debt to equity ratio is equal to total liabilities divided by the total equity. So again, um, here, uh, it should be that our equity must be greater than that of the liabilities. So here, the ratio should be lower. I mean to say, lower liabilities compared to our equity because equity here is our base. Okay, so for example, if our liabilities is 50 and your equity is 100, so our that equity ratio is 0.50 okay, times 100. So that's also okay, 50 percent okay, or lower. Okay, so that should be uh, the equity should always uh, exceed the total liabilities. Okay, so that's all for our leverage ratios.